Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to insert an average line to a bar chart. So based on your use case, you can switch your matrix to something else, such as median. You don't need to be limited to uh, use average as the uh, matrix. All right, so here in my Excel spreadsheet, I have this uh, table right here. In column B are my data points. And I'm using the average age uh, for uh, these four industries. So based on a sample data set that I got from the internet. And column C, I calculate the average based on the uh, ages in column B. And that gives me 33.67 based on these four data points. And below that is going to be the charts I'm going to create. All right, so if we look at the bar chart, so here we have the uh, four data points or the four data series based on column B. And here I have this uh, average line that will give your users much more meaningful information in terms of the uh, objective that the chart is trying to present. All right, so let me delete this chart. We're going to create uh, the chart from scratch. All right, so first we want to select the uh, cell range that create the bar chart. All right, so here I'm going to delete the chart title since I don't need that anymore. And to insert an edge line to your chart, so here we need to create a separate uh, data set. All right, so I'm going to call this X and I'm going to call this height. So X is going to be the X uh, position we want to insert the line. So in this case, I want to insert the line at uh, this uh, data point. Now I'm going to lock the cell reference. Here, let me uh, populate the value first. So basically, we're saying that at uh, this data point right here, 33.67, want to insert a vertical line that covers uh, these four items. So for the height, it's going to be basically from zero to the item count. So here I'm going to use the count A function. And I'm going to select the uh, cell range that gives me the count. Now I'm going to select my chart. And here I'm going to uh, display the legend. You will see why in a second. Now I'll select the chart, right click, select data. Now I'm going to insert MT data series. Now here I'm going to select the uh, series to uh, bar right here. Right click, change series chart type. Now I want to change the chart type to scatter chart. And which is going to be this one right here, scatter with straight lines. And I'll automatically set the uh, secondary axis to the series to bar. Now I'll click OK to uh, create the, the chart. So once I change the chart type, to uh, scalar chart to the uh, series two bar. Noticing that the series is now disappear. And we need to modify the uh, data series tied to this uh, series two bar. And the only way we can do that right now is by selecting the series two item from the legend, right click, select data. And here I'm going to select series two, edit. For the x values, it's going to be these two data points. And this will go into x values. And for the y values, it's going to be our height. Now I'll click OK to insert the line. Now I can delete the legend. And we have created the uh, average line to our bar chart. So if you want to uh, adjust the, the line uh, distance or the line height. So we can click on the uh, secondary y-axis label, right click, format axis. I'm going to actually set the maximum to four. And I'll leave everything uh, see this. Now at this point, I can delete the secondary y-axis label. And to make the chart look a little bit more polished, I'm going to select the uh, the line chart. 
I'll just line right here. Format. Actually, no, not that one. Format data series. And here, I'll change the line color to gray. And I'll set the dash type to dash. And that's it. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to show you in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.